WebDAV means Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning. It is an HTTP-based protocol that enables editing files in the cloud. Microsoft Windows operating systems have a built-in WebDAV client that can map network drives using the WebDAV protocol. If you have a WebDAV server, it can act as a file server in the cloud. You can map network drives from anywhere, thus you don't need a file server in each office. Mapping a WebDAV drive is very easy. You just need the WebDAV server name and a username and password on the server. You can set up your own WebDAV server and make it accessible on the internet, or you can use a cloud-based WebDAV server hosting service like DriveHQ's cloud file server. We will use DriveHQ's WebDAV server as an example. Launch Windows File Explorer, right-click on this PC, or Network, click More Options, and then click Map Network Drive. Select a drive letter and enter a WebDAV URL for the folder path. Check Connect using different credentials. Click Finish, then log in with your username and password on the WebDAV server. It will map a drive and open a new file explorer window. You can right-click on the drive name to change it to a more friendly name. You can map multiple WebDAV drives, for example. You can map a subfolder as a new drive. After a drive is mapped, it is just like a local drive. Anybody knows how to use it. It does not synchronize data between the server and the PC, thus it does not use local storage space. WebDAV supports file locking for group sharing and collaboration. Other cloud storage services usually cannot support it. A regular WebDAV solution has a few weaknesses, mainly on performance, reliability, and file size limit. DriveHQ's WebDAV service has been around for over 15 years. It is extremely easy, efficient and reliable if you use the Drive Mapping Tool software. For more info, please visit DriveHQ.com website and click Cloud Drive Mapping.